So, what I'm going to show today is the latest on the scatterometer GUI, and I've updated the Relay Server 2. So, I realize this is a bit small. Let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger and still access it. Um, so, we had a big issue before, which is that the lab machine couldn't handle the Relay Server because there was too much parallelization happening. So, I've had to reduce the parallelization and that means that the relay server is less capable than before. It can't do um, full synchronous or oh, sorry asynchronous control. Um, but we've we've still got the, the main things there. So first off I'm just gonna start this. Uh, I kept the old relay server there and wrote a simpler um, simple one that only uses about half the processing power, which is good. So now let me show you the interface. Here's the GUI. So we've got um, <clears throat> the ability to do all the commands, which I think I've already showed, but perhaps it wasn't in a video before. Um, and this connect buttons down here, as well as what I've been working on today, which is the motor control. So once we connect, all this stuff will get refreshed. So you can see the relay server is communicating, sending all the data back over, and we're getting the status updates for each group. Um, and we can perform different operations. So for example, group five is not initialized, so we can hit the initialize button. And then uh, we've requested that it be initialized, and then we've also sent a request to get new information. So it should have updated Maybe group five is offline. Let's try a group four. Oh yeah, so group five's just updated there, not reference state. And once it's finished initializing, we'll probably get a group four, not reference state appear as well. Anyway, this stuff's working. The home buttons are working. The targets seem to be working. I need to double check um, with the webcam. I tested it briefly in the lab. Um, I get the correct responses back. So say if I set this to 2.3 degrees and I say move to target, um, it will send that instruction to the server. And then you can see here the current position is updated and group seven is reporting that it had a ready state from motion. So that implies to me that this move to target button is working. And um, yeah, so that's a good thing. All this stuff's working. You can manually update, although I might remove that button later. Um, I think group four is offline, which is why this not initialized state is happening. Uh, yeah, so that's everything important for today's update. Oh, and the disconnect currently kills the server, which is the intended behavior. But later on, I can ha have it so the server continually refreshes itself, so it's available for a new connection.